Oh, that was a, uh, another good one, Clooney, really enjoyed it. Uh, another late night as well. Uh, got a good bit mad, I mean, there weren't many in, obviously, but uh, you should have seen the Clooney lot. I mean, uh, I know I've seen Julian and Mick that hammered, both headbanging right at the front of the stage. I mean, I suppose you're used to gigs, you not get any, even my music, he'd bang two kids, but Mick and uh, Julian were just totally off the trees. Like, uh, Joel and um, Stephen were quite professional for some reason. I mean, Joel was sober again. Can't understand what's going on there, but Stephen, I suppose he's managing the bar. <coughs> I says, uh, "Why you got all the Clooney stuff on? Why is everybody here? This is just me playing." And uh, it says, "Well, we just want to serve." <laughs> what do you mean? And I had to all the bar. I don't like to call them staff because they're lovely people, you know. All the all the Clooney people, you know. Uh, just constantly bringing us drinks all night, and then when we stopped filming the things, uh, they just said stop in which is safer than going out these days, so we just got right arsed all night. Well, not Joel, obviously, but it was Connie. And uh, so I got by a bit late. That's uh, up at Oosburn, up at the top there, in the penthouse suite. That's where all the rich people live. Well, that's where I live anyway. Um, uh, I tell you what, you can't use the lifts because of the um, virus and everything. So you've got to scale the walls down the outside. I did by putting my back against the that bit and then I put my feet on that one because I'm much taller than I look when I'm coming down a building. But I tell you, it's not very good with that. <laughs>